So this house is a, it's a net zero house and it's also a, a zero earth impact house. What that means is our energy balance is uh, for the most part zero and also we leave uh, as little impact on the earth around us as possible. First and foremost we have our geothermal heating and cooling system. Geothermal implies that it uses ground heat uh, to heat and cool the house. This is all our water for the whole house. Uh, for toilets, for doing laundry, for dishwashers, drinking water, all of it is in this system. All the rain from the roof feeds into gutters and the gutters are all connected to come down through that pipe up top there and it fills this cistern up. And then when we use the water, it gets compressed by an air pump here and sent through two particulate filters, which gets out all the dust and dirt and crud and then through a UV light. Uh, and that kills all the biologicals. So between this, the two filtration systems, our water tests better than most of the city water in the area. That's uh, called a solar thermal system. What happens is with our water from the cistern, whenever we need warm water, it gets fed up into that rack. The tubes are evacuated vacuum tubes with a copper filament down the middle. And so you don't need heat, you just need sunlight. And the photons from the sunlight are enough energy to pass through that vacuum and heat up the copper, which in turn heats up your, your water. So not too exciting in the attic, but you can see where the solar panels uh, kind of come into the house. So Eventually we're gonna finish off this space. Uh, for now though, you can still see the solar panels uh, that are connected in series here. They're basically each of these little junctions you see is, is a panel connected to the next one. From there, the power gets fed into an inverter and what an inverter does is condition the direct current from your solar panels to make sure it's in phase with what the grid is. Uh, it also has a function of recording your, your data so we've saved over 113,000 pounds of carbon. These appliances are all from Bosch. Uh, we have a partnership with them actually. The fridge itself only uses, uses 550 kilowatt hours a year total. That stove, it, it is an electric range, but in terms of other electric ranges, uh, that range that they're cooking on is really efficient. Zach wants to make this an opportunity available to anyone and everyone. It doesn't have to be just ISAT students. It's an option for anybody because this house is not designed to require technological know-how to live here. Uh, just a general interest in what it stands for and what it's all about.